applause in for Mr. Jim Weber. Hello, our host with the most. I'm gay. Um, okay, the lights are bright, so this is no secret. Yes, I'm an old white guy. Um, and you know, it, it bugs me because after centuries and centuries of old white guys running everything, I come along, I finally hit that milestone, and now we're <laughs> not very popular. I mean, I'm running on the, I can see the sneers, like I can't help it, I just aged and didn't have the right DNA, I can't, but I'm gay, so it's like I use that as a defense now, but no, I'm not one of those. But there's a good thing though, I'm 61. I shouldn't have to know. Can you admit, you don't want to be an age that people clap when you announce it, first of all. That's, but, but there's a very good thing about it. My student loans are almost paid off. So, woo! Yay, yay, yay. Um, well, all right. Did you read the paper about Denver? Decriminalizing magic mushrooms? They voted and they decriminalized magic mushrooms. And I thought, I overthink things, because you know it should be good news for some people, but I, it made me a little sad because I thought about all those mushrooms in the grocery store and whatnot that are not magic mushrooms, do they feel bad? I feel bad. Well, no, I mean like, no Hogwarts for you. I mean, I, I just feel too much, that's it. I think I have all these feelings because I'm a dad. I'm a, not, not a daddy, but a dad. I have two daughters. Um, yeah, I'm gay and two daughters. That's another story, but I don't have, a, I don't have enough time to tell that story. Um, yeah, I two, I've been married for 35 years. Not all of the same people, because um, if you're 60, you can do that. Um, but as a parent, you, you have a, you get weird stories as a parent that you don't get. You know, the diaper stories, the poop stories. and As a grandparent, you still get those stories. I have the best grandson ever, two years old, and I watch him every Friday. I'm riding the bus, because I do that, and I've watched him all day, and I have my little kid, I don't know. And when you're 60 years old, and suddenly when you don't know what's in your head, you pull out a diaper, People look at you funny, and, I, I, and you try to explain, it's not for me, it's for a littler person, then they look at you more weird. It's like, okay, we're done here, we're done with that, we're done with that. All right, so we promised my daughters when they were little that we would only use real words, we wouldn't make things up for like, you know, wee wee, woo woo, hoo hoo, and my daughters caught me once. I went, Daddy, what's that, two years old? One year old, Daddy, what's that? And I had to use the real language or I'd get in trouble. So, penis. And I was worried because they, they repeated everything. If you've met my daughter Claire, you know she repeats everything. And this will explain Claire. Um, I thought it was all great till we went to the card shop on Broadway. It was Pride Day and I was going to get like a pride ring or something. And they had the greeting cards. The greeting cards with the naked men with the downers. And they go, Daddy, why is his penis bigger than yours? It took me five years to come up with the answer. Better lighting. I'm not going to prove it now, but thank you so much. Jim Weber, glad to see you.